We're asked to determine the limit using L'Hopital's rule. The first step is to check the form of the limit by performing direct substitution. If we substitute one for x, we have natural log one divided by the difference of five to the power of natural log one minus one. Natural log one is equal to zero, which gives us zero divided by five to the zero minus one, and five to the zero is one, which gives us the form of zero divided by zero, which is one of the indeterminate forms in which we can apply L'Hopital's rule to determine the limit. For a quick review, since we have one of these indeterminate forms, the limit as x approaches c of f of x divided by g of x equals the limit as x approaches c of f prime of x divided by g prime of x. This is L'Hopital's rule. So going back to our example, now that we know we have one of the indeterminate forms where L'Hopital's rule applies, the given limit is equal to the limit as x approaches one of the derivative of the numerator divided by the derivative of the denominator. The derivative of natural log x is one divided by x, and the derivative of five to the power of natural log x minus x is equal to natural log five times five to the power of natural log x times the derivative of natural log x, which is one divided by x, minus one from the derivative of x. Let's go and simplify this a little bit. We have the limit as x approaches one of one divided by x, all divided by natural log five times five to the power of natural log x, all divided by x, and then minus one. And I think we can now find this limit by performing direct substitution. We have one divided by one, all divided by natural log five times five to the power of natural log one, all divided by one minus one. Simplifying, we have one divided by natural log five times five to the power of zero, and then minus one, which gives us one divided by the difference of natural log five and one. Notice five to the zero is equal to one. So this is the exact value of the limit. Before we check this graphically though, let's get a decimal approximation to three decimal places. The limit is approximately 1.641. And now I'll check this by looking at the graph of the original function. Analyzing the graph of the original function, notice as we approach x equals one from the right and the left, we are approaching the same y value or function value, which is approximately 1.641, which we now know is exactly one divided by the difference of natural log five and one. I hope you found this helpful.